Sad si pokrat iz klinik. Hippocrates does respect Apollo. What an outrageous claim. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. Now what's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? It's just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? I'll be sure he gets the equipment. You have my thanks. How will I know when I've found Hippocrates? Follow the road southeast of Hera's watch to the cave of Pan. He won't have set up far from it. Look for a long line of sick people. He's uh, balding, but I wouldn't mention that if I were you. <laughs> So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. <laughs> you must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? No. I knew this would help you and your patients. That's good enough for me. Quite admirable. What did you say your name was? Alexios of Sparta. Well met, Alexios of Sparta. What do you need? Hippocrates, I need your help. I was told you may have helped my mother. 
I'm trying to find her. But we see all kinds of mothers. They walk all day so that Hippocrates can see their children. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. Where should I look for your notes? Fort Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them, if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffered terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago, with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Hippocrates' notes are well guarded. Why? The mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopes, or so the legend goes. Oh no! You can't be here! I should be extra careful in this area. What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself? I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then, you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient. You have my word. I'll go get your bone forceps.
The forceps should be in there. Once I deliver these, we can get back to Hippocrates. These are the forceps you wanted. Is this it? You want a half-bed assistant? When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. I might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. How is your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this missiles helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. He's over there. There he is. I need to talk to him. Help our daughter! 
same sickness as the rest. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the Eagle Bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood, I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing Mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. Don't want to be caught. The white bull? Am I too late? died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It will have to do. <sighs> Not the best feeling. Please help our daughter. Same sickness as the rest. This is very troubling. <laughs> Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arulis. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by this sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this. Not an easy choice, Mystios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often, that is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guesthouse. Spends a lot of time being... Tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them.
μεγαλώνουμε και πολιώνουμε. You want to start trouble? Better stay hidden. You won't last long. Go! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him. Not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman. Was her name Mirini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No? He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. Sacred? <laughs> right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my sister here, you and your priests left her for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky she survived as long as she did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby. My baby. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. Yeah. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman, so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to her, before finally leading her to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope. Priests without tongues and babies. Left with an insane woman! My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. So Chrysis is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maliatas. Your form is tearing! <laughs> He's here! Here he is! Uh, 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 uh. 
No tricks. Huh? Ready to die. Try and take us all. Yeah. Good God, you're fast. <laughs> <laughs> 